All right. Hey, that was good for the video. I ain't got no editing right now. But that is not going to work. And that's not going to work either. Yeah, there we go. That might work. All right. Now we're at uh, Michael Jordan Laboratories here, figuring out what this uh, plane will do. All right, well, you want to go about... Yeah, we'll start with the 10% run-up, and we'll get numbers on the 10%, and then we'll go to 25, 50, 75, and 100. Okay, ready. Okay. All right, we're going to hit 10%. That's it. About 10% right there, I think. Uh, 11 miles an hour, 0.7 amps. Okay. Yeah, 25. 25. That's 25. 25 miles an hour. 3.2 amps. How's your grams there? Take it for 50. Take it for 50. That's 50. is beautiful on the pitch speed and uh, but yeah you don't need all that and if this thing is moving at 70 miles an hour it's not going to get good video or anything like mm -hmm. that so well yeah i'm thinking we'll, we'll take some pitch off add some what what was our high thrust uh, 100%. Yeah. Uh, 117 1750 yeah, what was the amperage at uh, 38 38, it's right within where I wanted it to be. Yeah, the amperage is right, so our overall power is good. We just need to take some speed off and add some thrust. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to the... Sounds beautiful. To go in the in-between, we'd go to like an 11 by 5, but I don't think that's going to be enough even. My guess is that we're going to dial it in right at a 12 by 5. Yeah. Yeah, well that's why I bought the prop, see okay. what we would do. I don't think I have a 12 by 5. I think the closest one I have is a 12 by 6, but that's going to be too much. Okay, that's all right. So, uh, but we can come back. I will order another prop. Try it, though, just get numbers off of it. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, let me see if I can pull up that 12 by 6. <coughs> yeah. it's, it's a dialed in prop for the yak. Are we trying it again? I have actually got a new version of that yak too. It's got the AS3X still. And uh, it's got AS3X still. I mean, it seems real easy. Yeah. But it takes all the scale out of flying. It really does. Because if you, if you take like the, the DX8 or the DX6, you can take the springs out of the gimbals uh -huh. on there so that when you move the sticks, it leaves them exactly where they're at. And you can set it up to go up and slowly torque roll and take your hand off the transmitter. Oh, wow. And with the AS3X system, it'll just sit there and okay. spin. And 
hold it. I'm yeah. powering the system up. Well, it, it, that's kind of my opinion as far as mixing. Like, you know how you do your, your elevator and throttle Oops, mixing? That's just a second. Kind of well, too. It mixing is. and gyros it are is. two separate because it takes skill to know how to do the mixing. Yeah, but it takes skill to be able to fly an airplane like yeah. it is. No, that's true. And then, but it's, it's, yeah, and that's <laughs> make sure it's spinning right. It's cheating. I, I, it, is, it, is, it is half cheating. <laughs> Call it what you want. It's, it's cheating. Not as much as <laughs> as being able to throw your plane up and take your hand off mm. of the transmitter. You still have to fly the plane with yeah. mixing. You know? well, I mean, well, that's yeah. kind of what this is going to be. Is going to be you'll be able to take the plane up and then yeah. take your hands off the transmitter. But, but, but this style flying right here, where you're doing surveying style and commercial style, standard. you want to have that kind of thing on it. That's an advantage. When you're right. doing 3D style, it's all about the skill of the pilot. And dialing in the plane so that it flies right and everything like that. But it's a totally different concept. Okay. Well, Everyone out on YouTube getting this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that you know my opinions about gyros. Yeah. And people oh, I got a couple of gyros in. I've got gyros and planes too. It's just uh, I put gyros and planes that are supposed to have gyros. Now. Right. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, I think so. Don't be pushing. Right, yeah, run it up, and I'm gonna run it up real slow. No, I'm not I'm pushing it. I'm just putting my hand on it. And I'm going to tell you when to stop before you close the door. You have about 10% right there. 1.3. At uh, 12. Yeah. 24 miles an hour at 4 amps. Okay. Take it up to 50. We're gonna have to charge up some batteries and try again. <laughs> I don't have my charger with me. Oh, geez. Yeah, no, I didn't bring my battery pack. Shoot, you want me to go and uh. That's alright, I mean, we would. We would really need to hit that 40 amp. But... Yeah. yeah. You want me to run over and get my charger? I can do that. It's worth it to me. Well, okay. well try with this battery real quick. I mean, we, oh, just, yeah, we, just, need to get, we just need to get two more readings 75 and 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To 10 pounds of truck. Until we get planes that have more than that, I've got the setup we can yeah. with. Yeah, I doubt that we're going to be going 10 pounds of thrust with well, any, <laughs> anything right now. I didn't think that I would go past, yeah. <laughs> you know, 2 pounds of thrust <coughs> for a long time. So. Okay, right, just go to 75. Just go to 75. <laughs> Miles an hour. Yeah. I didn't even get the weight. Yeah, it was yeah, pushing okay. me yeah, pretty just, hard. I, just, I didn't want this thing to fall over. Okay. Okay. And I'll make sure everything's ready. I didn't go back to 75 real quick so I can get the. Yeah. Ready? Because I was pushing from this side. I can hold it from this side. Try it again. Ready? Yeah. Here we go to 75. Right How much was it? 42. Oh, yeah, it's too much. Yeah. 23. So. Oh. 11, honestly, 11 by 5. 11 by 5. 3 blade. Yeah. Yeah. Let, well, I'd go 11, like 11, 7. That's gonna be too much. Pitch. That's gonna be too much. This is ten by seven yeah, now. The, the big thing is that it's, it's eleven six would work. Eleven six. 
because it would be the same as this. I almost hate to say it, but you almost need to go back to a three cell. Well, I haven't I haven't gotten the batteries for it yet. I would I would put this on a three cell. You so got a big you run the bigger. You got pop. a big fat three cell somewhere? We'll try it out. I don't. Not with me. Didn't bring shit with me. Yeah, okay. I didn't bring batteries with me. But I would I would put this on the three cell. I would go same size, four amp hour. Yeah. Three cell. What's, what what the twelve? What's inch. the recommendation for this? The recommendation for this is three to six cells. Three to six. Um, the motor is completely bigger than than recommend, recommended. It's supposed to have about a G15 in it. Right. If you wanted to go to the okay, but I wanted the headroom for obvious reasons. You know, because especially with an autopilot system, if it if something gets crazy and stuff and it has to auto correct or whatever, I want it to have the ability to do that. Um, and uh, once I got the autopilot in it, it won't go more than 45 degrees anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is awesome. And it's kind of like the new um, the new apprentice would be, which is cool because for my for my purposes, slow, steady, level, good flight. You know that's what I need. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, we'll think about the four cell thing and we'll just can the camera. Yeah,